Korea and the UK mark 140 years of diplomatic relations this year, and in light of this occasion, an exhibition blending technology with Korea's cultural contents is underway at a gallery in London. So what's on display? Who are the artists taking part? And what has been the public response? Welcome to Issues and Insiders. Today we offer you a glimpse of a special exhibition taking place at Sacha Gallery over in London to mark 140 years of diplomatic ties between Korea and the UK. For more on this, I have Stephen Lee at the Korea Creative Content Agency live on the line. Stephen, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you for inviting this in interview. Yeah. I also have Chung Soyoung at Locus X with us. Soyoung, it's good to have you on as well. Hello, good to see you. Thank right. you for having me. Most welcome. Stephen, we'll start with you. Let's begin perhaps with a few words about what is meant by an exhibition that fuses new technology with cultural content. Yes, as you know, nowadays uh, in London, so many people so like to uh, uh, listen to K-pop and to see the K-content. Based on this trend and this atmosphere, we try to make a new opportunity with uh, uh, K-content and collaborate with new technology. So we try to change the uh, people's uh, viewpoint, how access to access to the new content with the VR or some metaverse or NFT. Yeah. So now the basis on this uh, environment, we try to make a new opportunity to uh, uh, the British peoples and and some uh, some other the European people. So uh, we provide diverse uh, a kinds of content in this uh, such gallery, uh, such as uh, AI platform uh, collaborate with uh, K-pop and uh, a uh, K O T T content collaborate with uh, the metaverse and and also we so uh, provide uh, such as uh, the NFT collaborate with uh, some fine art. So. Uh, now, as I see so many people so see, uh, as I see so many people the pace, they really like to join the, this kind of content and, and uh, they try to change their mind or their attitude to access this kind of new uh, content with uh, technology. Yeah. Right. And all that being said, Stephen, what would you say is the importance of this particular exhibition there in London? Yeah. So, uh, as you know, so uh, we uh, celebration of uh, a celebration of uh, 140th anniversary diplomatic uh, relation between Korea and UK. Uh, so uh, we provide uh, this kind of uh, exhibition. So uh, we take eight kinds of uh, K contents yeah, uh, from Korea. At the same time, so we also uh, some provide the new uh, provide new things uh, such as uh, uh, how can uh, such as um, uh, AI platform uh, collaborate with uh, yeah, K content and anyway so uh, uh, so in the past days uh, they don't have uh, in uh, in, in the past days they don't have enough time know about quality content to wear but. We try to change their uh, the British people's their mind and their things uh, with Korea uh, new contents with uh, uh, this kind of uh, this this kind of K contents. Anyway, uh, this this exhibition uh, this exhibition each year over eight uh, over eighty K content IP with the technology. Yeah. Right. Uh, Stephen, the exhibition itself started this past weekend and it's going to go on until this coming Sunday. Is that correct? Uh, this Sunday, yeah. For Ste 10 days, uh, we, yeah, we run the, this exhibition for uh, all people, yeah. yeah. And I understand, and, uh, Stephen, that there is a section of this exhibition that seeks to commemorate Korea's 140th anniversary of diplomatic ties with the UK. Could you tell us a bit about that particular section? Yeah, so... Uh, Actually, so uh, before to 
composite uh, organize this exhibition. I don't know exactly how many uh, get a good relationship uh, so between the uh, Korea and UK. But anyway, so as I prepare for this exhibition, what I know that so uh, as you know, so for 140 years, uh, Korea and UK tried to know about the, the culture and the uh, diplomatic. So so. Basis on this environment, uh, we try to make a uh, six session in this expression. So, uh, and at first, uh, when you uh, enter to this exhibition, you can you can easily see the, the time to remember session. This session will go through the history of uh, 140 anniversary diplomatic uh, relation between Korea and UK. And uh, yeah, so. Stephen, how long would it take to tour the entire exhibition? Would it take about an hour? If I wanted to see everything there. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so sorry, I I can I can catch up your question. So, uh, how long? Oh, Stephen. Yeah. How long would it take me to have an entire tour of the exhibition? Uh, maybe one hours. Yeah, for one hours. If you want to know about uh, this kind of uh, content, you need to uh, some uh, time. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry to. Uh, uh, we. Uh, to to prepare for this exhibition, we take uh, some eight months, uh, one one years, yeah, one years to this exhibition. So before to prepare for this exhibition, we try to know about the peoples of the uh, British people needs, and at the same time, uh, how many Korea con uh, company uh, they have a mind to come to the British and they want to the how to expand their uh, business in the London or in Europe. So after that, we try to some uh, gather the diverse uh, content in Korea. So at the, and then we uh, try to get the many kinds of uh, the the visitor uh, who are very interested in the Korea content at the same time who are interested in the invest to Korea contents. So, uh, so at at then uh, we uh, composite or uh, we organize this kind of uh, exhibition and uh, we run the, this uh, this kind of exhibition in, in such gallery. So even though the such gallery, as you know, the such gallery will be uh, some very conservative uh, uh, space, but, but uh, and and also this space is uh, as a symbol of the mass communication in London. So we are uh, we what I know that so, uh, but we try to run uh, some new kind of uh, gallery uh, in such gal uh, such gallery. And so uh, uh, we uh, uh, we t we want to be uh, some uh, new change maker uh, with this kind of uh, exhibition in London. Right, I see. Soyoung, you are a participating member of this unique exhibition there in London. Could you tell us a bit about your company and the section in which your artistic works are being showcased? Soyoung. Okay. Um, my company name is Locus X. Uh, Locus X, X is a Korean virtual entertainment group that developed a uh, virtual influencer by combining 3D technology with content production. So we created the first virtual influencer named Rosie for the first time in Korea. The In the virtual rhythm and real impact section of the Olim exhibition in London, we are representing two contents, uh, digital fashion and the facial life. Rosie launched a, a digital fashion called Rosie Collection, which is the party look, and it was influenced by balloons. And balloons are essential for any party to make it colorful and keep attendees entertained. Uh, so Rosie wanted to share this positive mindset with her community. But however, uh, after the fun time is uh, in the real world, uh, they turn into trash. So Rosie solved this problem in a 3D fashion. Also, she has promoted Korean digital handbook by collaborating with digital fashion designers. The other content is facial live content that allows people to experience Rosie. 
it provides the experience of becoming rosy by moving their uh, expression and gazes that Rosie makes. So since we wanted Rosie to seem as natural as possible, but also be able to give various expressions, we created uh, over 800 facial blended shape learned through the AI. Wow, 800, that's amazing. And before we yeah. talk more about Rosie, Sawain, could you tell me a bit about what prompted your company to partake in this exhibition? Oh, I think uh, we think uh, the world is evolving and changing, improving in many areas. And as technology develops further and further, we thought it helps uh, showing different uh, industry uh, in a new light through this exhibition. So, and then just our company's motto is virtually possible. We want to give a positive message to the world by utilizing what humans cannot do uh, that is only virtual, not virtual, uh, not human replacement. So Roger's digital presence embodies the future of fashion and communication and sustainability. Right. So, yeah. And, and speaking about Rosie, sorry, to what extent are virtual mm -hmm. influences like Rosie herself of great appeal perhaps to both brands as well as fans? Um, for brand, we thought uh, challenges to a uh, new challenge can create an image ahead of the other competitors. In addition, in terms of virtual human, they are very, uh, their communication is flexible because they are oh, actually not, in, not real. So, and also it's not affected by time and space. And also it is scandal free as well. So I think it is the best advantage for the brand to enable more free marketing activities. And then for the fan, um, our first goal was uh, to create a virtual human that could represent the characteristic of Generation Z. And that was, we think, not to express the typical beauty appearance of the East or West, uh, but to express a confident inner self that actively appeals to one's personality and after people love that. Well, so this is why uh, Rosie target advertisers and other brand clients and Gen Z's mind and pay much attention, I think. Right. And, and talking about people's response, Sayang, what has been the response to Rose's party look, including the, the focus on balloons from the public bank? <laughs> yeah, they, when they saw it, uh, they are very um, entertained. And then actually they use that clothes seeing clothes that the garment um they a lot of influence are by Rosie's balloon collection good to know i'd love to have one too Stephen. i hear <laughs> the exhibition has a total of six sections which other sections do you care to highlight Stephen? yeah so already uh, so some of people really like the, the rosy section but but also yeah so most of all, the music session is very popular among some the visitors. So as you know, we pre we uh, present our diverse contents, but uh, the music session is uh, most, many people know about uh, the uh, diverse of uh, K-pop. So, but we try to showing them with a diverse way. Uh, with the diverse ways with uh, some new technology. So uh, we just, such as uh, AI platform, collaborate with uh, some K-pop, uh, 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 so such as uh, BTS and Blackpink and, and Bluetooth. Yeah, this kind of uh, uh, music tech part is very uh, popular uh, uh, to the to public. And also the VR, we are content is very popular so to to many uh, uh to visitors so uh what i saw uh, as i saw the the face of the visitor they really like to join this kind of VR content so uh, because 
uh, even though uh, the VR content is very, very uh, interesting in this London area, but the Korea content a little bit has uh, some uh, attractive to the uh, the visitor in London. So anyway, so uh, except for the so, uh, music part, some another better first content uh, and the media art also, may, uh, so uh, some very uh, popular among some people who are uh, joining this exhibition. Right, and talking about the visitors, Stephen, have you been getting a lot of favorable reviews from all age groups to those who visit this exhibition? Or is it mostly the younger people who are having fun there? Yeah, sure. Are you getting a large age group, older and younger people interested in the exhibition? Uh, you, usually, yes. Uh, change, uh, change, uh, like uh, some this kind of uh, uh, cake contents and and so yeah that is uh, yeah usually uh, so change part is a very uh, some like this kind of content right of course Stephen in recent years there appears to have been a greater interest in Korea's art scene among those overseas how do you explain this growing interest in Korea's art scene among foreigners generally speaking aha uh -huh. okay so a very uh, tricky question to me anyway so nowadays uh, due to covid 19 we don't have uh, enough time to expand our some visions to the globally so uh, but nowadays uh, we can easily we can now we can, we can easily set up the new uh, some offline uh, gallery in this London and some other uh, space. So uh, we try to make uh, some uh, new opportunity. We try to make a new opportunity at the time. At the same time, we try to uh, create uh, some new opportunity to many kinds of Korea content, which content uh, uh, to make us uh, some to produce their content with the uh, uh, new edge technology with the uh, uh, content. So. Uh, uh, in the near future, we try to we give uh, some uh, uh, many kinds of benefit uh, to meet with uh, some uh, venture capital or some accelerator or uh, some buyer in London or another in uh, Europe uh, country. Uh, so that is our uh, the goal, and we try to making uh, this goal. Uh, we support to the Korea. Uh, company, yeah. Right, of course. Meanwhile, Soyoung, the phrase uncanny valley, I believe, is being thrown around quite a bit amid advances in AI. Uh, first, for the sake of our viewers who may not be familiar with this jargon, uncanny valley, do tell us what it means and what are your personal thoughts regarding it? Oh, yeah. Uh, the concept of the uncanny valley uh, describes the robot uh, becoming more likable as they gain human-like quality. But when they get too human-like, uh, they start getting creepy. Then, uh, when they become nearly extinguishable from human, they became uh, likable again. So, I think because technology uh, continuing to develop these days, uh, it is being replaced by the new word, uh, Great Pleasure Mountain, uh, Teyuke Mountain in Korean, instead of uh, the Uncanny Valley. So I think, um, uh, we think uh, it is undeniable that we already live in a world harmonized with various virtual worlds like a metaverse. Um, however, uh, the most important thing is uh, how to use these virtual world or character is, yeah, the most important thing. So uh, its value will shine more when it is based on, on not just abusing the technology uh, like criminal, uh, but um, what works in the real world. Right, of course, making productive use of technology then. Stephen, earlier on you spoke to us a, a bit about the future plans of OLIM and, and, and staying with that also, I was wondering, what support framework do you think is necessary, Stephen, to allow for greater advances in Korea's art scene? Yeah. 
uh, to create or uh, get uh, some uh, response from the some visitor uh, who are joined our some exhibition. We, we try to keep uh, some. Uh, we try to make uh, uh, some reward reward of uh, some uh, content. So uh, to to do this, uh, uh, we we sh we. Uh, we are showing in the some in the outlet, which is a very uh, big size of meteor art in the world. In this area, we uh, showing uh, showing about eight uh, tw over the twenty kinds of video art, uh, which media art it will be art content already uh, showing in the uh, Korean National Museum and Korean National uh, some gallery. So. And at the same time, we we show we uh, prepare for uh, some random play dance game in this alternate. So we the uh, K content, K-pop uh, communities. So uh, from uh, so, uh, through this kind of uh, uh, event, we can uh, uh, try to give uh, many uh, things, Korean things, to the some visitor uh, we who are. Uh, visit our yeah gallery. Right, Stephen. Dance game sounds like fun. Anyways, thank you so much, Stephen, for making time to join us live at this very early hour at your end there in London. And so also, it was a pleasure having you with us. Thank, thank you. you. It's my pleasure. Right. Well, on that note, we say goodbye today. We return same time tomorrow, so do join us then.